What's going on YouTube Champer Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Megatron. Now starting this review off by taking a look at this amazing packaging here on the front here we've got some amazing artwork of Megatron within his T-Rex mode and then a very well done shot of him within robot mode you've even got the nemesis there in the background it says leader class kingdom transformers readjusting my camera here on this side we've got a lot of transformer kingdom characters in my most um, my most anticipated character on the side here, Dinobot. I'm super excited for when they release that figure, but just scrolling up here, we've got the golden disc. Box art looks fantastic. you got some different characters, such as Optimus Primal, Cheetor, and Bumblebee. Uh, coming here to the back of the box, we can see we have Megatron within a robot mode and T-Rex mode in that he transforms within 27 steps. Here on the top of the box here, we've got a Predacon symbol. And here on the bottom, we just got warnings and stuff. So overall, very, very cool packaging. I absolutely love it. And one thing that is worth noting is that there is absolutely, aside from this plastic window here and the plastic clip tie or the ties that hold the figure in, there is no um, plastic clamshell for the figure to sit in. It just sits in this cardboard insert, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, there you have the packaging. Now, going over what Megatron comes with, he doesn't really come with any accessories. He does have a collector's card, and this is the Autobot arc. And I do believe these will vary from figure to figure, so um, I happen to get the arc. And then we've got the golden disc here on the backside. I really wish Megatron came with a golden disc, because if you've ever watched Beast Wars, you will know that the golden disc was a very vital piece in Transformers Beast Wars. But we didn't get it. But that's okay, um, and this does have a peeling sticker, and then we've got the ARC 1984 right there. Very nice, and I really do like this little sticker piece. I'm going to set that, I'm going to layer that back on like so, just to keep that there. And then he does come with his instruction booklet which again, um, I mentioned this in my Rat Trap review, nice colors, absolutely love how they're doing the instructions for Kingdom. And then he comes with his warning sheet. Let's move on with the review. And here we have Kingdom Megatron, face to face, tooth to claw, and he looks absolutely fantastic. This T-Rex mode that Hasbro and Takara Tomy were able to accomplish looks just phenomenal. The classic purple and green T-Rex that we all know and love from the original Beast Wars cartoon, done in a very um, realistic fashion looks absolutely phenomenal just going ahead and giving you a 360 look at the figure as we can see the sculpted and paint detail on this figure looks just amazing and i've got to admit hasbro and takara Tomy have done a great job with this figure so let's go ahead and take a look at the details now bringing Kingdom Megatron in for a closer view, we can see here that the sculpting and detailing on this figure is absolutely fantastic. As we can see, you got the nice white teeth and then opening the mouth, we can see here they have even molded some detail there for the tongue and then just turning them over we can actually see that they've actually done roof detailing to the inside of his mouth and then we even have a blaster there but that's mainly for robot mode i'll get into that here in a little bit but as we can see here the texturing on this figure looks absolutely fantastic um one thing that is worth noting is that he is actually made of this more rubberized plastic and you know there is a lot like there is actual plastic on the figure but there is a lot of this rubberized plastic used some of it is and you'll see it during the transformation some of it is um, plastic covered with this rubberized plastic to give it a more realistic feel to the overall um, T-Rex mode and we can see the um, paint in the detail here on the back of the T-Rex mode as well um, just turning it around here to the back we can see some detail here on the tail and then on the underside we've actually got this nice tan um, stripe going right down the underbelly of the T-Rex mode and the feet have actually been done really nicely as well and the leg detailing again just 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, one thing I really do appreciate is the fact that Hasbro made the bottom of the foot a white plastic. That way they didn't have to paint the feet and it keeps from paint chipping from happening on the feet. So definitely a really good idea on Hasbro's part. Just getting a good look at that face sculpt here. We can see it's been done really, really nicely with the nice red eyes and everything. Very, very well done. You got the little T-Rex arms here as well. Just overall, the T-Rex mode on this guy looks absolutely fantastic. And the detail has been done, um, again, just has been done perfectly. Now, going over the articulation of Megatron, starting here at the head. The head can swivel upwards and downwards. There is an extra hinge here in the neck, so you can get a little bit more of articulation there, but that's mainly for the robot mode. You can pull a side-to-side -side swivel with the uh, neck joint here, but then there is another joint here which allows for some slight side-to-side -side movement, so you can definitely get them looking left to right at a decent degree, and then these little pieces here are actually spring-loaded, spring -loaded, so they will actually follow the movement of the head for the most part. Uh, the jaw can open and close to a great degree we can see here that you can get a pretty wide um a pretty wide range of movement there in the jaw and then you even got some of that detailing right there to give the illusion of some sort of muscle um of the jaw there which looks again absolutely fantastic um the arms are on ball joints so you can get some 360 spinny spinny action right there and they can move out um, a little bit not a whole lot the legs can kick forward that far and kick forward um, to a decent degree you have to be able to maneuver the joints right but you can get forward and backwards movement about like so and then just resituating the leg um, the legs can kick outwards a little bit but um, due to the transformation you know it kind of hinders some stuff so um, you do get a little bit of motion in there if you want to pull off some poses the knees are on a swivel so you can get a full um, almost full 360 spin at the knee uh, the knees can bend to a good range and then the ankles are actually on uh, a couple joints you got a pivot joint right here for forward and backward movement and then you you actually do have um, a ankle tilt so you do get some articulation there the tail can swivel side to side here at the base and it can move a little bit up and down to accommodate for whatever real poses you need to pull off and then the back of the tail here can swivel side to side as well. So overall, the articulation in T-Rex mode is absolutely fantastic and is everything you really need to pull off some um, great poses with this figure. Now for a size comparison, here is the Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. And as we can see, Rat Trap's a tiny little dude compared to Megatron here. But you can see the size difference there. Megatron's huge. Um... But as we can see, Rat Trap is a tiny little guy. You just sit on the back of Megatron like so. So Megatron's definitely a big figure, but yet again, Core Class Rat Trap is a little bit of a smaller figure. But there you have your size comparison with another Kingdom figure. Now, Megatron, terrorize! Now, going over the transformation of Kingdom Megatron, what we're going to want to do is start off here at the hips and take these thigh pieces and fold them up. They will disconnect from the rest of the leg like so. Then we can move this panel here up and untab it. There are two tabs right here and here. They'll tab in. Excuse me, my camera is falling out of focus. And tab into these pegs here and here. Take this panel back here. Fold it up and that will create clearance for these two sections here on the side of the neck later on down the line. But take the T-Rex tail, fold it down a little bit, and then that will allow you to spin it around like so. And then what we're going to want to do is untab the leg or the torso assembly from the rest of the body like so. And then we can take the legs, fold them down, then take the uh, hip piece here, swing it out, and then hinge it in like so and then that will peg in to place so we're going to do that on both sides and swivel this in the tolerances on these hinges and the tabs for some of the transformational joints are extremely tight on my copy then take the hip pieces right here and fold them up and around like so 
and then come around to the underside of the T-Rex, split this section open like so, and then these uh, panels I was talking about earlier, they're spring-loaded, so they will just fold in. Go ahead and take Megatron's head and fold it out and tab it into place like so. It'll click into place. Then take these panels here and fold them up like so. Go ahead and do that. Then coming around to the back here, we can go ahead and take the T-Rex arms and fold them up just to hide them away a little bit more. And then take the upper torso here and just snap it into place and it will tab in this section here will tab into the upper torso like so and that will all just snap into place and come around to the back here take this panel here it's on a double hinge there's a hinge here and a hinge at the very back and then just tab that into place the t-rex arms can hide underneath all that take the hips for the t-rex mode and it is worth noting and i will let you guys know that these are on a um semi-circle um hinge so in order to get it to articulate the proper way you have to hinge it at the top like so which even when you're articulating the re the legs in T-Rex mode, you have to do that just to um, make sure you don't damage anything. Um, it's just better and easier to do it that way when articulating the figure within T-Rex mode, but hinge those like so. And then coming back around to the front, we can work on the arms. For the arms, what we're gonna do is take the T-Rex head, fold it around like so. And then for this arm right here, what we are going to do is take these panels right here on the side and fold them up like so we're going to do that on both sides like so and then untab this section here and then go ahead and rotate this part of the tail around and then finish folding that forward and ladies and gentlemen here we have transformers kingdom leader class megatron terrorized and in his robot mode Yes, and here we have Megatron in his robot mode. And the robot mode on this figure looks absolutely fantastic. This looks exactly like a Beast Wars Megatron. Again, given that brand new realistic T-Rex alt mode, this guy looks, again, fantastic. The overall robot mode works extremely well. Whenever they first announced Kingdom Megatron, I was quite excited because product pictures looked absolutely phenomenal and having it in hand it certainly does not disappoint so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the details and bringing Megatron in for a closer view so we can get a look at all the details. The T-Rex legs here have carried over into robot mode and look really nice. You got some nice detail again, some carryover from the T-Rex mode, but it looks very nice, some nice details on the arms. The thighs have been done really nicely with some nice purple paint. And then you got some silver up here. And then you got a different shade of purple for the rest of the thigh. And you got some more silver paint here. And then on the stomach slash chest area you got some beautiful dark silver there and then you got some silver right here right underneath the neck and then some more silver for the sides of the chest and the head sculpt has been painted and sculpted absolutely just pitch perfect this cannot be any more accurate to the face sculpt of beast wars megatron and we've even got if we come in close enough here we've even got a little back up a little bit there we go. We've even got a little Predacon symbol molded into the crest of his um, forehead, which is absolutely fantastic. And, and then you got some nice silver paint for the face and some nice purple with some red eyes on the face and everything. Looks absolutely fantastic. And the arms have been done really nicely. We've got the T-Rex head for this arm right here. Um, and then we got some nice molded in detail for this arm over here. In terms of the backpack and everything, he does have a bit of a backpack. Um, but I can definitely excuse all of this uh, due to how the transformation works and everything. I think they executed the robot mode for this figure um, really, really well. Now, going over the articulation of Megatron here, starting off at the head. The head is on a ball joint. Um, it can look up for whatever reason on my copy. It doesn't want to stay up, but it definitely can look up and can look 
full 360. Um, you do have that extra joint for the transformation, but it kind of looks funny. Uh, but you can use that if you want to. Um, the arms can move outward to a certain degree and then can rotate full 360 if you're able to get around the kibble you do got a swivel right above the elbow and then you do have a joint here at the elbow itself and then you do get a little bit more movement when you turn the t-rex head around and then you do have the t-rex head articulation all that stays the same and you do have a five millimeter port here in the mouth of the t-rex so you can apply blast effects if you so choose and that looks quite fantastic as well and then you do get a little bit of a butterfly joint here to get some different poses as well. This arm's pretty much the same, outward movement, um, swivel right above the elbow, and then you got a elbow bend, and then you got some different articulation due to the transformation and whatnot here at the end of the tail. And then again, 360 rotation pretty much at the shoulder. He does have a waist articulation, which does rotate a full 360 degrees. Um, hips can kick forward pretty far and can kick back, can kick outward. Um, they are blocked by these, but if you move them down and around, you can get the full range of motion. Folding that back into place, you do have a knee bend, and then you still retain all the articulation in the leg from T-Rex mode, so you get pretty good knee rotation and then you do retain all the rocker joints and everything the ankle tilts and whatnot so this guy is incredibly well articulated i must say and you can pull him off into some fantastic poses now for size comparisons here we have kingdom core class rat trap and as we can see rat trap is tiny compared to megatron as we can see tiny little guy um so, there's your comparison there, and just to bring in, this is the Siege Voyager class um, Netflix um, series Megatron. As we can see, uh, Beast Wars Megatron is definitely a good little bit taller than um, his namesake, uh, the original Megatron. But, there you have size comparisons. So overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Megatron? He is absolutely fantastic. This is a great figure. Whenever I saw Beast Wars Megatron or Kingdom of Megatron, whenever I saw that he was announced for the Kingdom toy line and in hand images of the figure started coming out, I was quite excited and I thought he looked absolutely fantastic. And as I mentioned earlier, he does not disappoint having him in hand. The articulation is great. The both modes look absolutely fantastic. Takara, Tomy, and Hasbro have spent a wonderful amount of time and have done a lot of engineering and paintwork to make this figure feel and look amazing. The overall sculpted detail, the articulation, and again, each mode looks absolutely fantastic. I feel like they paid equal attention to each robot in uh, his T-Rex mode, which ended up giving us probably the most accurate version we will have of Beast Wars Megatron, aside from the high and collectible masterpiece version. Do I recommend them? Absolutely, guys. I think this figure is fantastic. And plus, he turns into a dinosaur. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? But guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of Kingdom Megatron down in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champa Productions, signing off.